So like, I mean, you've been you've been doing music for for a long time now, and I'm sure you know in the, in the years that you've been doing music, you've you've made a lot of mistakes along the way. Which one of those mistakes would you say have helped you grow the most as an artist or as a person? Uh, shit that that's a that's a really good question. It's a tough one too because I feel I'm one of those guys who, even though I didn't appreciate it at the time. And when I when I make fuck ups now, I, I I probably appreciate it a lot more. Just in the sense that like that like when when I learn from something is usually when I fail, like because then I you know you get burnt by fire once you try not to get burnt again. So yeah. Uh, but one of the things that significantly comes to mind is it, it doesn't have anything to do with like the actual making of music. But it's it's more so in the beginning, I was I was I was more like just trying to like keep to myself. I mean, I'm an introvert by nature, so it's not because I try to like kind of push people away, mm-hmm. but like I I would like try to avoid collaboration and I would try to avoid networking and I would try to avoid taking advice from like OGs and you know in my area or stuff like that or just people in general because because when you're young especially like in hip-hop like it's very it's very like ego driven and competitive compared to other genres so you think you're the shit and then when you get told like you need to improve on xyz is like a lot of times it would go in this way and out that way because it's like, what the fuck? Like I'm fucking dope and shit. And yeah. sometimes I wish I would just be like acceptive to, to advice. So I'd say like the mistakes I've made early on that I've learned from is like, just, you know, don't take criticism, especially constructive criticism personally because that's one thing that I've, I have I did a lot when I was younger because I thought it was my time to shine. And now looking back, like the current me would probably tell the me of yesteryear the same thing, to be quite honest. Um, because, you know, even like sometimes when it comes to my music, I listen, listen, I listen back. And then like at the time I thought I was like, shit, I'm ready to get fucking signed. I'm like the next big thing. And then now I'm like, shit, I was not ready at all. Not because I wasn't good, but it's just like, I, I didn't get it, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, you so, realized you, still, you had a lot to learn when you thought you knew everything. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm like, I mean, this isn't, I, I think this refers to, to music as well anyway, but there's a, there's, a, there's a wrestler called Robbie Dynamite mm-hmm. who, um, who told me, years ago that the day you the day that you stop learning in in the wrestling business you might as well quit and i feel like the same applies to music because even like the greats like i'm not saying this because i I actually haven't spoken with them but like i i I assume like the great if you listen like tech nine he probably learned something new every day believe it or not so it's like, and if you if you stop learning, like me personally, I probably would stop because it it just it gets boring. It's like when you're in easy mode and you you know you don't progress. Like, yeah, well, so I mean, just like I'd say music I, is so it's so complex, right? Like even if you did learn, yeah. even if we both started learning something new about music every single day until the day we died, we would still die without knowing so much about music. You get what I mean? Like the, exactly. it's, almost, it's like an unlimited yeah. amount of knowledge for us to take in. And I guess you sort of, you, you just sort of got to pick and choose what you're going to take in. Cause it's, it's impossible to know it all. You know, it's absolutely impossible to know it all. And it's, absolutely. And it's it would suck to know it all. You know, part of the excitement of creating is that as you create, you're constantly learning with every single thing that you make. Absolutely. And, and another thing is like, you're not going to please everyone anyway and this is something and and like i'm glad you actually said like like you're not gonna know it all but like at the same time like the reason why i'm glad you said that even though you didn't say it like the way that i'm like because because what i'm what i'm about to say is like you cannot impress everyone 
by trying to know or doing everything anyway, because it's like when you zig, you should have zagged. And the reason why I say that is, is because recently within like the recent years or yeah, I say like the recent two years, I've been trying to like kind of play around with my style. Like, cause it's like when I, when I do like the, the fast rap stuff, there's a lot of people who like it. And there's some who, who are like, why do you rap so fast? You're not saying shit. Like there's always gonna be naysayers, and then I want when I try to do like the, the more like I did on Voodoo. I mean, not that anyone said this to me because of the Voodoo Voodoo verse that I did on your album, but like when I do a verse like similar to to that, that is like kind of two chains clubby. Like it's like the hip hop purists are gonna be like complaining about that, and I'm very diverse. Like I I don't I don't try to like stay within a specific lane. As some gurus, they say you should. It's like I sometimes I do hip hop, sometimes I do pop, sometimes I do EDM like stuff, and I even dabble in rock music as well. I don't sing and I don't growl, but I, I rap over it. So it's like it like whatever you do, there's gonna be someone over here who's gonna be like, oh, we want the fast rap shit. Oh, we want the club shit. We want we want to turn up, and you know, it's like. What the fuck? You, you, like you cannot win. <laughs> yeah, no, you absolutely can't. So if, like, you see, if you're always trying to please yeah. everyone like that, it's impossible. Because as you said, like different listeners, yeah, want different things out of the music they listen to, right? Like there are there are so yeah. many artists that some people listen to that I will never understand why the fuck they listen to them. But I'm sure they got their reasons, you know. And to them, it probably makes. Same here. Sense. Same here. Um, but yeah, it's it's gonna it's gonna be impossible yeah. to even try to understand. And I don't and you know, like it's it's we shouldn't try to, you know, like it's not our job to try please everyone or try to get yeah. everyone to understand exactly what we mean, you know. So it is what it is, you know. The the whole point of mm. I guess making art as well is to leave it up to interpretation, um, to a certain degree, at least, you know. Absolutely. All right, well, you gave us some fucking great gems in those answers, and I hope everyone watching this has learned something. Um, but now this question, people aren't really going to learn a whole lot from you. Um, but maybe, the, maybe they'll learn a lot from you from this question, actually. But Michael Finn, would you rather spontaneously mm -hmm. start growing pubic hair on the inside of your throat or have your lips replaced by labias? So, like, picture... Dr. Zoidberg from Futurama. Then I probably, <laughs> it's a fucked up question, but I probably have to say grow pubes within my throat, probably. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. probably. I yeah. I think I'll rather just have I'm like not lips sure. on my face, you know, because I feel like just eating food and you're always going to have like a tickling sensation in your throat, you know, it's going to be fucking. Yeah. See, I, I, I was thinking about, I was thinking about that too, because I'm kind of reluctant. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not even 100% sure. I, I'm so confused right now. Uh, <laughs> Shit, I don't, I don't know. That, that's a fucked up question. <laughs> I mean, either either way, you're losing. You know, there's no way you can answer this question. Anyway. It, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna <laughs> win that one. So <laughs> maybe, maybe if I was actually in this situation and someone pointed a gun to my head and said, "Choose," maybe shit, I don't know. It makes you think. Yeah, it man. Really makes you think. Makes you, yeah. Yeah. I hope it makes you feel more grateful for not <laughs> having pubes on the inside of your throat. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. The so shit there you we go, take, internet. <laughs> the shit we take for granted. Eh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks for that, bro. So oh, before, before I let you go, yeah. it's petition here to do a quick little ABC challenge with all my guests. It's pretty simple. All you got to do is say the alphabet as quickly as you possibly can. I'll give you two attempts. Um, number one, I believe on the leaderboard right now is personal space. He did it in like 2.3 seconds, I want to say off the top of my head or some shit. Um, but there's been a bunch of other people shit. that have done it. And you, you're someone that raps fast, you know, so no pressure or anything. But I got I got high hopes for you. I feel like oh, you're no. going to <laughs> I feel like you're gonna land land pretty good on the list. Um, so yeah, take a sip of water. Absolutely, do whatever you got to do. I'm gonna record it like with a stopwatch on my phone. 
but um i'll like record it i'll time it properly and post edit so i get it like exact when i when i do it but i'll try my best right now doing right. it physically on the on a stopwatch so you just start saying the alphabet whenever you want and i'm i'm ready to start so you you go whenever you're ready <laughs> okay a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z okay okay that any? was like but yeah no you got you got everything you didn't you didn't skip any letters yeah yeah was, um so yeah. do you want to well, try time that was like 6.6 .6 seconds oh okay all right shit all right a B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Oh, okay, sweet. That was much faster. It was probably like I I I think I paused it a little bit late, but on my phone I got five point four five seconds. It's probably a little yeah. bit faster in in uh, post edit. But it's funny because you were rapping it. You took yeah. a small little pause before you said Z. <laughs> I had to. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me yeah. um, and everybody else. Thank you, bro. This as well. I hope you. I hope you enjoy yeah. listening to Michael Finn. Um, and before before you go, can if do you have any like upcoming projects or songs? You said you're about to go on a little tour and stuff in Denmark for your for your acting. But do you have anything else coming up that you want the uh, people to know about? I mean, I'm always working on new stuff, but like at the moment, like I don't have anything like as of right now, as we're doing this interview, th there's nothing that I have set to like release at the moment, because at the moment I'm spending most of my time trying to figure out how to how to and when to like launch my my mailing list and, and merch and probably sell some CDs too. Mm -hmm. And then after that, like depending on how it goes like like either way i'm gonna release new music on streaming um services and shit but for the for the time being uh i don't have anything set to release but like if you're interested in you know in in like finding out when i do have something set to release you know just follow me on social media i'm, I'm at michael finn pretty much everywhere youtube facebook x <laughs> which I'm probably not going to be as active on since, you know, a certain billionaire kind of fucked it up, but like, I was never <laughs> active on Twitter. I was, I was never, I was, I was never really active on Twitter to begin with. I mm -hmm. was like years ago, but like now it's, it's mainly just Facebook and IG and, mm -hmm. you know, every now and then I'll post, you know, vids on, on TikTok. And then when I have like songs along with like, releasing it on on streaming services that come out on youtube as well so you know i'm pretty much everywhere and then my website is michaelfin.com um not a whole lot on it yet but like you know updates will be uh you know will be on there so yeah, yeah. i'll put, I'll put all of appreciate that you yeah, yeah i'll put, oh, I'll yeah, put all yeah, that information too. down in the in the description so you guys you guys can just click yeah. down there on the links if you want to get to his website or his instagram and all that yeah. shit um, but yeah, man, thank you so much again for joining us. It was great chatting to you. Thank you, bro. Um, and I'm sure I'll talk to you again sometime soon. Peace out. Hashtag blessed.